hope nobody drives against it. Okay. Someone did. I think I'm stuck now. Oh, it was a bus. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I have a problem. Let's put it like that. What can I do? Just let these guys drive, and then I can take it with a different angle, hopefully. Wow, this is disastrous so far. Oh, this really is a disaster. Go, 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 go. Don't turn, turn around. And straight. That should be it. Wow, holy moly we've lost so much time 41 percent because that bus uh, oops it's gonna cost us a lot of money and we have some damage with the truck time remaining 27 hours we have to make one stop at least how's the fuel it's good we just got wrecked there <laughs> i have no other words for it uh, shouldn't have gone with the trailer. Should have. I, I should have gone with the. Um, what's it called? With the delivery we saw first. You know that delivery which was thirty-five euros. Oh man. Embarrassing. Anyway. Back to F1, I guess. I mean, when so many people tell that they don't like F1, even the drivers, even Alcostone, of course, Alcostone is the one who I think said his name under the, the the record, or the 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 record, the contract. So I don't I don't understand why he then wants to go back again. I would absolutely love to go back to the V10. Even the V8 would already make me happy. Because I really do think that F1 has lost a little bit of its, of its beauty, you know. Um, a bit of its its charm. It's, uh, it's a shame. And, uh, yeah, it, it hurts me a bit. Not, 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 not that I really get emotional or something like that, don't get me wrong. But... It does hurt because it's a sport where you care about a lot and uh, then it suddenly you know, changes. I mean, I, I stopped watching F1 and trust me, it was pretty hard to do so because I loved it so much before. But every time I would watch it again, it would frus frustrate me so much because I don't think the cars they are driving in right now are worth F1. I, I really don't think they are worth F1. That's what I thought already. Okay. I am not the person you can have trust in when I have to deliver a long trailer. <laughs> it's not it's not even a heavy trailer, it's just a pretty long one. But I think it's uh, it's enough about that one. I'm gonna get my uh, phone here and uh, see. I have a look at uh, the comments from last video. I 
again uphill. Let's go on to that video if I can find it. Let's go to eighth gear. There we go. So on episode 19, are there any suggestions? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I talked about the Bianchi incident there. A lot of people seem to agree. Um, yeah, it was the suggestions came on episode 20. Okay, need, need to pay attention here now. Let's actually uh, pay attention here. Okay, so we need to stay on this lane, I believe. Yeah, and then go over there. Okay, I've got it now. There's another bridge. Oh no. Oh no. Are we gonna make that? I think we will. Just about. Will we? Oh, <laughs> I'm so scared now. I'm so scared. Wow. We made it though. Okay, so someone asked me. Actually, Newton Gamer asked me, "Where did you, where do you get your your English from?" Um, he says it's pretty good. So thanks to you, um, because as you know, I'm I'm a, I'm not from uh, from England, from the UK. Um, yeah, okay, that's his, uh, his suggestion, baby, baby. Um, pretty much to to talk about that one. Yeah, my my English. Um, I'm currently 16 years old getting 17 years old in this month so November and how do I get my English that that good well I think um, it still could be improved of course and uh, definitely trying to improve but to be fair um, I think that gaming has actually helped me learning English you know as uh, as a Dutchman uh, I live in the Netherlands obviously come on this is a typical BMW driver right there. No offense to BMW drivers. No, no, seriously. No, that was a joke, but that driver there, go, go past me or brake. You know, don't do, don't stay in the middle of that. And he basically did, but anyway, back to that subje subject. I think gaming has helped me a lot learning English. I live in the Netherlands. So, you know, obviously you, you start off with only knowing the Dutch language. Um, but yeah, at school when I was young, there was a little bit of, of English, you know, um, and I always tried to take it pretty serious because I don't know, I, I I don't really mind learning languages. I really don't. I think it's um, it's 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 okay actually, but. At, um, at primary school right now um, or high school is it is it primary school or high school I think it's just high school um, there's uh, the, the, um, the importance of English language is really high um, so that puts some pressure on you to really perform in uh, in tests and stuff like that so you really want to pick it up and learn but I don't really think that school has done that much for me to learn English English of course it has done a little bit especially in terms of you know grammatic English um, but the words itself I guess I picked uh, I picked up a lot from from games really and if I didn't understand the word or something like that I would just google it up and slowly but surely you start to pick up language and the younger you begin with learning a, lang a, a, a language a language um, the better it is and the e the, the the quicker the faster it's quicker I think the quicker you are actually mastering that that language and that has been the case for me because I played games when I was pretty young already and I used to play them in English language not even in Dutch language and right now as well if I play a game 
I would usually prefer to, pray to, to play it in English rather than Dutch. So, yeah, I think English is just quite important and that definitely helps because um, mm, because it is that important. You actually, you know, want want to have a high level of uh, of, of English, you know, both uh, talking. So, for Calberry, uh, for Calberry, something like that. <laughs> See, that that's why I want to improve. But also, you know, with with your writing. And I'm still at school, so I keep learning, which is good. I think that's pretty much it. Obviously, when you do something like YouTube, it's obviously a major, major plus side as well. I mean, uh, you, you talk English, and if you want to learn a language, talking is so, so important. And I think a lot of schools and just teachers in general just forget that, you know. Talking is one of the most important things. Because you, you learn to use the words. If, if that makes any sense, you know, and I really think that in school when you learn a language, talking is underrated. They want you to to watch, uh, have a look in a, in a book and just learn those words. But it makes much more sense to actually talk because the way you have learned your language when you were a baby, you know, a couple of years old, was by talking, not by reading in in a book and learning those um, those. Um, what's it called those words I, mean, I think talking is so so important so definitely I would say that my YouTube channel has helped because uh, well actually it's pretty interesting a few uh, a few weeks ago someone on one of my videos said that uh, he thought I improved quite a bit I mean I've been doing commentaries for about a year now or so a little bit longer than a year I believe and uh, I've got to agree on that I think because I personally notice that I'm starting to get better as well with English, you know, ling English language. Before it used to stutter a little bit, if you know what I mean. But now it is a little bit more, more fluent and solid and smooth. And I definitely missed that before. But as, uh, again, as I said, I think YouTube helps with that because you talk. And uh, yeah, I think talking is really important. So uh, there is that. Pretty long, long answer to that one. It gives me something to talk about, which is good. T still 10 hours to go. Wow, it's a long, long journey here, but definitely going or hitting that, that bridge didn't help. Next one. Sebastian Simeon. He actually had three suggestions. Maybe you already did this in uh, your previous vid. Sorry for the drunk driving a little bit. I'm trying to look at my phone here. Maybe you already did this a bit in previous videos, but could you give us your personal top 5, or more if you want, of the best current F1 drivers and your top 5 of the best F1 drivers ever? Top 5 F1, modern F1 drivers, so uh, that concludes everyone who is driving in this 2014 season. Uh, top 5. I don't know if I can really order them in the right way. I'm sure though that uh, Alonso is my number one. Uh, that is uh, that is for sure. Uh, but then it's getting it's going to get a bit closer to uh, who is going to get number two, P two, or yeah, who's go going to be in second. Um, I mean, you can go with a, with a young talent, or you can go with someone who's already experienced and also driving really quick. And I, I think I'm actually going to do that because first person who really comes up in my mind <sighs> it's actually Hamilton but I don't know whether I would go with Hamilton over Bottas because Bottas has astonished me and surprised me what what was the speed limit 60 ah oh, <laughs> I didn't pay attention it was exactly under the bridge so I couldn't really see the speed uh, camera there oh my god well, uh, or horrendous, horrendous drive here. Terrible drive, I should say. Wow. Anyway, let's keep on going. Second, I think it will be Hamilton. Because I first want to see Bottas really proving himself with a super strong uh, teammate. 
next to him. I mean, Massa, I guess he's a good racer. Um, and I have a lot of respect for him. But for me, I always have a... What? What, what was that? That was a glitch with the road. No way that was some kind of bridge there. <sighs> weird. Very weird. Never had that before. I think Massa, I always have my doubts a little bit on him. I don't know. I think he's kind of good, but... You always... At least I always compared him to Alonso. And Alonso always destroyed him. Or he usually did. He was with Schumacher, of course, as well, in the V8 era, but that was a different era, I think. So you cannot really like relate to that in the in the early um, or yeah in the early part or the era the early period of that era. So 2006, obviously. I don't know. I always have my doubts about Massa, but anyway, I think I'm gonna go with Hamilton second and then Bottas third. Um, I, I think. Mm, what else have we got here? I think I would put Bianchi in fourth. Uh, even though it's a little bit sad. Because he's right now in hospital. But he is always pretty impressive. Oh. Was my retarder activated all the time? Hmm. That's an interesting one. Why can I not sleep? <laughs> Let me sleep please. What is this? It doesn't let me sleep. I hate this trailer. I really do it. <sighs> it causes a lot of bad luck. I cannot sleep. I honestly cannot sleep. What if I put it more sideboards? But yeah, I think Bottas would get my third. Yankee fourth. But who is going to be in fifth? Oh. oh my, I'm about to swear now. I'm very sorry to tell you guys, but I couldn't handle it anymore really. I wanted to uh, to quit the game, but I have done about an hour of talking right now and I don't want to be that to be gone. So I loaded up an auto save, auto save, and we are back here at this company. I'm going to start a new delivery because nah, I'm, I was done with that. You can somewhat see it as cheating, but I'm, I was completely done with that, really. Let's take another job here. I'm not going to do this one. <laughs> it pisses me off, that delivery. What else have we got here? Very... I'm sorry about that, you know, but... No. I think... Have I already accepted the job? No. But why can I... Uh, is there only this one? I think so. I don't know other deliveries now. I will come back onto my top 5 later. I don't think there's any... There's a different delivery than that. Oh, there, okay. Luckily there is. Oh yes, there is. Okay. Let's go with this one. 25 ton. But at least this one it's heavier but it's not as 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 long and high as the other one. I mean that was a terrible, terrible, terrible drive. Oh, and I keep I keep I keep messing up. I'm driving against that container now. That was very embarrassing. I so I'm sorry but uh, I don't know. That frustrated me too much. Let's pick this up. Um, but yeah, to the top five again. I don't know who's going to be in fifth, honestly. Bianchi was in fourth. Um, Ricciardo. I completely forgot about him. You know what, I'm actually going to put Ricciardo in 4th and Bianchi in 5th. Because Bianchi has never really proven himself 
in a, in a big team yet with a very strong teammate next to him and Ricciardo has definitely done that with that also I'm going to put Ricciardo in fourth even though a lot of people will argue with that and think he needs to be put up higher um, I, I don't know I think Bottas is just such a big talent so that's why I would rather have Bottas in third over Ricciardo but that's my personal top five of course um, and you may think different of that uh, next up you may already have done that too but could you talk about your favorite road cars which brands and why that's an easy one um, that's that's a that's a good question um, yes so first of all a few brands which I really really like of well, Ferrari is on, is on top uh, that is something I have no doubts about Ferrari is for me the best brand in the world uh, if you talk about cars you know um, but some brands which I like as well um, Porsche um, Audi I think Audi makes pretty nice cars mm, Pagani have a think I don't like Bugatti I really don't um, oh. I'm sure there are some other like fantastic cars but those are the brands which really pop into my mind in terms of normal you know cars on the road uh, f so for people who actually can afford them you know I mean not everyone is able to afford a Ferrari I'm definitely not um, uh, I guess Audi uh, Audi is pretty expensive in most cases so uh, to go with an even lower car than that um, I think maybe another German car maybe maybe uh, Vauxhall um, maybe What else? There's not really anything which pops into my mind, so I'm gonna go with that one. But probably my favorite all time car, which is not like F1 related or something like that. It's not a legal road car, but it is the Ferrari FXX Evoluzione. Um, for me, it's the most brutal car ever. It, it was a Top Gear, it did like a 110 or something like that, ridiculous beat the Gumpert by seven seconds or something like that pretty insane um, and it, it's it's like an F1 car pretty much <laughs> it is really really incredible it has so much power that that's that's what, why coming back to that F1 sound story that's why F1 sucks a little bit as well I mean even a, ro a race car you know the FXX has a V12 and it sounds so brutal so just pure power you know and that's what F1 misses too, in my opinion. But uh, sound is a little, is a bit of an aspect of F1. But there's a lot more. Um, uh, there's a lot more. There are a lot more problems with F1, I believe, such as uh, tire saving, uh, engine saving, fuel saving, whatever. Drivers just. Whoa, he took the, that that corner quite close to me. He cut me off a little bit. Um, yeah, drivers cannot always push to the maximum the whole race, and I think that's a shame. But anyway, that's that. Um, but yeah, I think the new Ferrari, uh, La Ferrari, is uh, pretty nice as well. And the 458 Special, uh, Speciale. I mean, what a car that is. Really, really nice. So, Ferrari really is great for me. I also like the Zonda. The Zonda is by, uh, by Pagani, obviously. I'm not really into um, British cars that much, sorry, but I like Italian beauty a lot, I really do. So I guess uh, that, that is pretty much it. Uh, was there anything else in that question? Mm. No, not really. Oh, why? W why? Why Ferrari? That's actually a nice one. Why Ferrari? Um, because Ferrari is really really passionate you know for me Ferrari is passion and um, actually when I compare it for example the new LaFerrari to uh, the McLaren P1 
I just find the Ferrari there's a lot more passion into it you know and I like the uh, the Italian passion being put into the cars I think the P1 is a better road car but the La Ferrari is uh, for me the better you know just race car even though there isn't really a direct comparison between them yet this is also very tricky to make a comparison between the two I mean uh, two are, they are two um, those cars are two great cars but there's also people who prefer one car over another of course for example I'm going to prefer the Ferrari over over the McLaren probably because I am a little bit biased towards Ferrari and you always have these people it's it's hard to find someone who is completely neutral and and yeah even then there's we're all human so we all like different things so it's hard to make a good comparison obviously anyway I think uh, I think I've explained that next one you had another one pretty sure about that one need to go straight here next one third you just generally generally talk about what you are planning on doing on the channel for the near future okay oh I could turn them into Q&A's that's actually a nice one as well 247 MS1 yeah that's actually a pretty nice one so uh, when I have questions on the Oscar FM I will uh, I could also answer them in truck simulator I guess um, once again that's actually a pretty good good one um, but yeah coming back to uh, to that third point with the channel stuff I don't really know um, with me when I'm going to record a video it needs to come spontaneously like I feel like making a video you know for me it doesn't need to be planned and stuff like that I just need to feel like it's in for a live stream I just need to feel like it and that's where I really am at at my my best I guess with making videos but yeah I don't really have any content I'll see what comes at me but obviously I'm more based towards the uh, the sim side of racing I mean I, I'm so I've started F1 2014 in career mode and it got a really good response so I'm gonna keep on doing that as I really enjoy it as well so as long as I enjoy it you know I, I keep on going but I think we should end this uh, this episode. It has been a crazy episode, especially the first delivery. It was complete, uh, complete, uh, a complete disaster. Let's put it like that. And uh, next one, next time we will keep on going. I'm sorry about aborting that mission or that delivery, but I got so sick of it. I <laughs> really. Um, so that I think that explains it. And I hope you understand it little bit of a episode which didn't go as planned but hopefully next next week it will be all fine again and we will finish this delivery so I'm actually going to uh, put it here to the side of the road even though it's a bit illegal I do not care let's put it right here Yeah, that will do. <laughs> My trailer is still a little bit in the middle of the road, but it will do. There we go. Let's save it. And uh, that has been pretty much it for these two episodes. I think it will be two again. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like. Sorry about the hectic stuff. I, hopefully, I hope that next uh, episode will hopefully be a little bit better and more uh, planned. Uh, as I said before so nonetheless I still hope you have enjoyed it if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below I'll have a look at them and uh, well pretty much it that's pretty much it uh, thank you guys for watching see you guys next time goodbye